What the? Man, there was two curtains there. One was my hand. Hey, what do you guys think I'm drinking today? Hey, you. You in the audience. Check this out. What do you think I'm drinking today? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Bitconnect. Hey, hey, hey. Blue I Moon. Hey, hey, hey. Blue Moon is not. Hey, hey, hey. Bitconnect. Blue Moon's not a bad guess, although uh, it is a bad guess because that's not what it is. Jay, thank you for the resub. Three months, my dude. Smith, Steph got it, surprisingly. Yeah, it's really loud. Check this out. Filled to the fucking brim. To, to the fucking brim. Look at all that. Look at all that. Mmm. And boy, is it good. Passion fruit lemonade mixed with blackberry kombucha. That shit's crazy. You, we don't mess around here in the attic with our drinks. We never do mess around. Oh my god. Actual literal surface tension drinkage. Actually perfect. Mmm. I am certainly going to spill that all over myself. How are you guys doing? I see Steph. I see Jackie Wilson, Mossad, Jay, Ulti Dev, Ryan, I guess, Williams, Fago, that's a good guess, right? That's a good guess, Williams. ASMR, that's what's up. Put on everyone, put on your headphones. Let's do a little ASMR session. Alright. said it's uh it's an asmr stream we actually had a reschedule we had a change of plans and we're going to uh we're going to do some asmr gin your favorite type of lotion being rubbed all along your ears your favorite type of lotion <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's what you get when you come into the stream, dude. How are you, by the way? I haven't seen you in a while. Being an ASMR guy is stressful. All I can imagine is everyone jacking off in the audience right now. And that's not okay. That's not okay. You guys are pervs. But, flawless segue... The Galactic Sex Dungeon is within my grasp. I have officially completed a Paraset for Parallel, and I'm pumped. I'm ready for the snapshot tomorrow, Thursday. Thursday at 2 PST. And today we're talking Parallel. Oh yeah, we are. I'm sure if you're in stream right now, you've heard of Parallel before, and you're probably wondering what the fuck is going on. It's a card game, but there's no actual card game, and people are paying insane amounts of money for these cards. 
<laughs> Thanks, Blank. <laughs> uh, so today we're going, you know, Mark's been wondering the same thing. And you, you guys all know Mark. He's been on a few times. Um, and you guys all probably know Young, the sensei of Marcolian, one of the parallels in the game Parallel. So we're going to be talking Mark through the very beginnings. And you guys are welcome to follow along because it's hard to get into these projects if you don't know what they are about. There's so many projects and there's so much information. It's overwhelming. And so hopefully we can break this down a little bit on stream for you guys, give you some basics so you can start at least understanding what you're looking at. So when uh, price dips occur or something new happens, then you guys can get in and uh, get rolling with us. So without further ado, let's, let's bring the homies on. Please give a warm round of applause to Mark and Young. What up, guys? <laughs> Yo. Welcome. Peace. Welcome to the show. I hope you calm your guys' boners down. I know you saw that ASMR section. It was nice. I'm not gonna. Yeah, lie. I mean, done walking off. <laughs> it was. It was all right. Hell yeah. Um, if streaming ever fails, I'm gonna go on the new and improved um, non-sexual OnlyFans. And bathtub stream. Start doing. I, do you think I am at the point where I could sell my bath water? I think you can at least do a bathtub stream. Um, You're gonna have yeah. the sex dungeon, dude. Just just take your uh, galaxy key and then do things around it, like digitally. Okay. Like, I'm actually, little... I'm not kidding. Like if you did if you did orphan in the bathtub with like a laptop, just buying NFTs, that would actually be very 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 good. I'm not even kidding, like that, at all. That would people be would, people would want to watch it. I'm just self conscious, dude. I've gained a lot of weight this year. I mean, you took your you took your you took your shirt off. I mean, during the video. Yeah, I'm not so, actually that I mean, self-conscious. The damage is done. But I have gained your a game, lot of weight. It does, it doesn't matter when you're rich, dude. In parallel, so. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be DJ Khaled out on these jet skis, <laughs> just yelling about <laughs> key, yell, yelling about keys. But instead of the major key, it's just gonna be the galaxy key and the prime key. Another one. Thank you. I was just so, thinking about like how you got, you know, like you and and Young and a bunch of people got were able to get in on that parallel drop. Like speaking of those keys, mm -hmm. and I think that like from I don't totally know exactly how they did the drop, but I know that they were able to do a drop in a way that was like super fair and it let anybody that wanted a pack get a pack, right? Like if you were there, you basically got a pack, right? If you were there right at the time, they sold out really quick, but. They did a really good job. It wasn't a gas war, right? Like the gas was not involved, right? Yeah, no gas war, and they—I think they did anti-bot stuff. Young might know more Freaking about that. Sick. Yeah, they uh, in their first ever PS15 drop, they had a, uh, you know, you just copy your uh, Ethereum address to the contract, off like through MetaMask, so you weren't like minting live like all these other PFP drops. Mm -hmm. And then just to see them upgrade to the reservation system, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm gonna be surprised when they upgrade it to the next thing. It's gonna surprise a lot of people. I feel it keeps it keeps progressing. Yeah, they're doing crazy stuff. Like I wasn't expecting it to be that smooth, for sure. That's the smoothest drop I've ever been a part of, and that's including like Nifty, who like <laughs> does it every day. <laughs> so, and their their <laughs> drops are just dog shit. But Speaking of smooth, Mark's mustache is smooth as fuck. That's, not gonna lie. that's a fact. I mean, it's I. Not it's not it's not it's no young. It's very content. a baby. I fuck with it. To me. <laughs> Makes me want to collect. <laughs> You'd be surprised how long I've been working on this mustache. A decade. So it's been a while. Like I've shaved my beard, just the beard, not the mustache, like five times now. That's the life. That's the life of okay. a collector. I literally just shaved all of this off just because I wanted to fucking look more Marcolian. What does a what does a collector we're, we're, look we're, like we're, in yeah. your mind, Young? Is it, huh? is it? What does a collector look like in your mind? Is that a an overweight, bearded man? No, I'm thinking more. Fucking, you know, Mister Gone. That's what uh, that's what the collector would look like to me. The the, the lead. Game dev dev of Parallel. Okay, I can see that. I'm not gonna gotcha. lie. Does he have facial hair? I don't even remember. 
I think he has some 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 uh, some stubble. Okay. Well, respect then. I've got a I've got just a, a raggedy little neck beard going on right now, but you take what you can get, right? Go, you go a whole life without, a whole life clean shaven, and then you just let it you let it rock, and sometimes it's disappointing. Love it. I want I wanted to ask Mark, how you been, bro? I mean, just been really inspiring to see you come up the uh, the NFT ranks. I've, I've known you off uh, before NFTs. Mm up the Saul one time yeah because you guys go back time. for the the audience yeah. that doesn't know you guys you guys go back a bit we've actually sure. known each other since way before nfts for real but you don't know each other's first names i don't know <laughs> young young contents first <laughs> there might be a paper there chilling just reminding <laughs> i I'm, I'm fighting like every single right now it's really hard for me because Young asked me to not say his first name on stream, and so I'm like literally fighting some serious stuff right now to say Young to not say his first name. It's very hard for me right now, so I keep I mean, just saying Young content. It would be an alpha leak. So if if you slip, it's cool, bro. I'm not gonna fucking hold it against you. you know? Nah, man, I'm not doxing you. Just call him Daddy. Daddy, young. <laughs> young hey, put, <laughs> hey, put something on the line, Mark. If you slip at some point in the stream, what you gotta give? You gotta give Young something. I give him a habibi. No, dude. I don't oh wanna, shit! I'm buying a habibi. Okay. okay. Speaking, speaking. You don't of, have a habibi? Uh, I need a habibi. I'm, I have, I have liquid now. I'm gonna be buying it. You, your wow. thing sells out so fast, bro. I can't. I didn't know so you didn't fast. have a habibi. That's insane. That's just like you got an, You have betrayal. a Young Content toy. I... Trade. <laughs> trade. Okay. Let's trade. Oh my God. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never. Thank you. are doing good. So much pain. Uh, I so mean, my God, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to blast shots at you for not having a BB. I'm trying to get you a BB. I'm trying to find a way I'm for getting, you to get. I'm a buy. I don't want anything free. I'm a collector. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Saul, Saul's in the chat. He said he says it's a reunion, baby. Yes, you do. He said it's a reunion. Yes, for sure. Shout out to you, Saul. Yeah. You're I I uh I met you through Saul Saulito NFT. Um, I remember one time I I was I was doing a shoot in near where you lived, and I and they didn't offer because they were losers. And actually, that was one of the worst shoots I've ever been on. Um, and it was nice that I, I it, it was actually nice to be able to see you because I was really sad and you were really, you were really nice and like made my day better. Um, but you let me sleep on your couch. And so that was nice. That's a whole, so I appreciate that. they, they didn't, they didn't provide room and board or anything like that, which is lame. So, yeah, that's official. Come a long way. Yeah. Guys, I've got some, uh, I've got some news here. Apparently Kobe up on up only that's talking about parallel right sure, now the deal's the deal and how do you think about those projects what is it saying? execution risk do you think I it don't is know. um let's see yeah, uh, like did something drop or do you think it just just depends on let's how they see do. i'll try and pull it up uh, on stream i mean it's bullish near term like you sent me like you, you're explaining it really well Did i get my so wallet ready it's bullish near term what's the <laughs> problem oh, no. did they did they release the white paper grows as time goes on and oh white paper sits, for and, parallel you know if they don't make their promises i mean for the uh, prime and, proposal you're explaining why oh, i don't think so when things went up like 30 40x he has a fucking um, especially pudgy penguin i saw that at point five holy shit i do not like the penguins but like, I don't oh, like him either. I like, I'm a big fucking I like Dead Fellas. Like, oh. I, mean, I like I Dead Fellas too. Why is oh, the Dead Fellas floor like, so like, low? That, it's offensive know. to me. I don't know if they actually Because we have to have some influencers. Like, we have to band together like the X-Men and just go hard on that. It just bothers me that, like, cool art doesn't necessarily equal, like, high valuation. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to take control of your stream orphan, but like, I'm kind of ready to get down to business. Yeah. Real, oh, shit. Real quick, let me do some housekeeping. Jay, thank you for the gifted, um, sappy seal art review. Did you redeem an art review that I missed? Nope, you didn't. Um, liquid, get bent. I'm not going to do your crow cam because the crow cam is broken because of the fucking crows. Um... Ryan did fuck Mary Kill. What's your uh, what's your three? Did you put your three?
I don't see it. <clears throat> oh, Markolian Earthen, whatever Mark chooses for fuck Mary Kill. Whatever I, I choose. That brings us to our first point, Mark. What what um parallel are you gonna be? I don't Please know. Choose wisely, bro. You, you, I don't know that. I don't know the factions. Okay, that's what we were gonna go through first, then. Yeah. Well, or, if you're fair. friends with or if you're friends with Orphan, he's Orphan. So I'm Orphan. I think don't do the opposite of him. But Rye, Why? Rye is Marcolian. Marcolian are Mars people what, that are what, what, very elite. What? What website should I be on right now? Should I, should I be on OpenSea right now? I'm just like looking. I'm logging in right now. Hey, right. Comey, thank you for the five gifted subs. Absolute legend. Thank you so much. I'm pulling up the website right now. We're going to look at the parallels. Yo, Comey is a homie, by the way. Really? Comey, Comey. Yeah, Comey is an OG Habibi. It's a good rhyme, Located, too. Located in Cairo, Egypt, Ooh. and he's friggin' favorite people in the game. That's what's up. Thank you, Comey. I appreciate that. Shout out to Comey. Okay, yeah. Young is Marcolian. All right, so here we are. We're on the browser. We're on the, we're on the site, and I think I just have my crop messed up. Let me try this. Oh, should I be on the website right now? You can look, watch the stream, or you can be on the website. Website is parallel life. Yep. Ooh, life. When you, life. when you guys mind linking that in chat, just so everyone else has the link too. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, hey, hi. Young is definitely Mark Crowley. He likes to win. Join Team Win today. He likes to have a flat ass face, and look at look at red rocks. No. Very cool. You guys are on Skooma over there in Earthen. <laughs> That's City. true. That is true. A lot of right. So we got parallels. There's five parallels, Mark. We got Earthen, Earth people who like to smoke weed and sit by trees. We got Mark Crowleyan. Oh. They got flat faces and look at rocks. No, we are the uh, the military, the militarized elite of Mars, bro. All the technology, all the vehicles. Think Tonk and Truck. Yeah. 30 year old. Yeah. yeah. I got it. Uh, Transformers. Yeah. No, that might be Augencore. Augencore is. Yeah, that looks a little more tech. They're in space and they're basically like robot. They're like cyborgs, right? Yep. They're like Matt Damon from Elysium. Yes. Then we have Cathari, which is like a bunch of clones. They're on Jupiter's mm. moon and they just like clone the shit out of themselves. They're, dis they're, they're cool. pretty disposable though. Yeah. But they're cool. I think. I think okay. so. And then we also have the Shroud, which are basically Eldritch humans. They're like off, they're like half space dust, half people. That sounds awesome. Why wouldn't I want to be that? They're like a. It's up to you. A, a version of the X Men. Mm, like my, some serious like nightcrawler yeah nightcrawler's vibe they're so powerful I, they don't even know their power type thing but they're I just think, discovering it like cosmic you know, x-men the shroud seems like my vibe why 100%. they sound cool it's the most popular one dude go with like oh is it like, you're like a techie go with augencore like you're okay technical master no, no, my second. i can't i can't sway you i mean augencore is like my second my second rate like that was my second pick. What was? Augencore. Okay. And your first pick was Shroud. Yeah. Cool. The Augencore playstyle is gonna be very Lego based, where you can start modular, maybe modular. Yeah. It's really it's more about your playstyle too, I think, uh, and the lore at the same time. I have a concern. Like I have a question, just a really honest question. I'm not trying to like come down on parallel. Like, what if the game's not fun? Then everything fails. <laughs> I mean, there's like a dime. There's like a hundred of these card games, like in the real world, digital card games, and there's only like four that are popular. No, that's the bet, right? Cool. That is cool. that just, is the bet. But the, what what? Because I had that same question, right? And the answer that I came to is everything that I have seen from the parallel team is grade A. I've actually been shocked at how good it hasn't even been like par expectations. It's been like above expectations, the launch, the way they've released cards, the stuff that they're doing to um, promote the, the promote the cards and keep the community engaged. Like it's all incredible. And I've watched Merchant, who is the le lead game dev um, on YouTube for a while. And he was a pro magic player for a long time. Um, I think he was in like five years or something I don't know, for, for a while. And he's worked on other games before, and so 
I trust that he'll make a fun game. <laughs> Yeah. But you're right. Cool. If it, if it's not fun, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough sale. But also, Axie yeah. isn't fun, right? And that does fine. Cause is Axie not fun? <laughs> I've never played it. I've heard it's not fun. And I haven't played it's it. Very either. right click. I mean, people love it. There's a 12 year old that literally is a billionaire because he was in, in Axie very early and he got all the mythics. And did you say billionaire? He's like a like a thousandaire, hundred thousand, six k. Holy figures, maybe. God, nice. But I would say to your point, Mark. Uh, you know, they have the CEO of YouTube backing them back in Fe February, Chad Hurley. Mm. And uh, just to talk to the lead dev, Mr. Gone, a.k.a. Koji. The dude is very just passionate about like early magic and like looking through the looking glass and seeing cards he couldn't afford. And just a student of the game, talking game development and game mechanics with uh, with uh, his, with all his friends, especially inside Parallel he brought into. So I think it's a game made by gamers for gamers and uh, adding that tokenomics aspect to it being early on um, DeFi, you know, play to earn is is going to hopefully turn out well. Yeah. Hopefully. And this game has play to earn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People will like that for sure, especially if they cost money. Yep. 100%. So that'll, that'll drive a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, players. It, it doesn't have yeah. to be fun if it, I mean, I'm not saying it's not gonna be fun, but it doesn't have to be fun if there are actual economics and, you know, like really strong economic concepts in play. Yeah. And they have, yes. a, yeah, they, to your point, they've got a lot of leeway because of the space that they're in, you know, being the first NFT card game to really like do it right. I don't know if there's yep. other ones who have like tried before, but this is the first one that's like hit it. And uh, so there's a lot of leeway just built into the fa that fact, so. But I think it'll be fun, but, you know, we will see. Because I, when I first started, I'm like, okay, well, yeah, but what about Artifact? Because you guys probably remember how Artifact went for Valve. Or, like, it, everyone was super pumped about it. It had, like, a market and stuff. And then it came out, and, like, no one played it. I played it. I loved it. But Did you? it just didn't, it didn't take off. Yeah, I thought Artifact was super cool. Mm. I, I love that game. But Mark, I didn't people, really people didn't. Games. I barely did i just i'm a huge valve fan so valve's like we're making x i'm like yep yeah, i'm in i don't care i don't care what it is i'm really in on everything valve does mm. and so they made a card game and i got into it and I, I thought it was really cool how you could buy and sell every single card on the valve marketplace for cash yeah mm. um not many games let you do that yeah and so this that's probably the closest thing that we have to what we have in the nft space like any card you had you could sell on the steam marketplace for actual cash mm-hmm so that was cool it stayed in steam though didn't it because you had to s sell it for steam um dollars like you couldn't cash out it did it did it did stay in steam but it was because that's what valuable in some sense that's what i remember about csgo skins and dota skins it's like okay well i i pulled a knife and it's like okay well now i can have 300 dollars or whatever the knife was and it's like but i have to buy it in games in steam like i can't, I can't pay rent with it but yeah no it yeah, so this is the the value of it is yeah the value of these kinds of games where you can just straight up mm. use sell your nft pay rent yeah. it's kind of crazy for sure okay so, crazy, I'm, so i'm augen core walk me through what the heck is happening with the cards i'm gonna actually i'm actually just gonna ask a ton of questions are you cool with that perfect oh yeah that's exactly what we need that's the way Shout out to the how many chat. how many like fucking viewers on here. yeah 70 viewers ah, what up guys Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Hey, just in case you didn't know, follow me on all my shits. This is where I play the ad, guys, with the dog. Follow me now. I love that. I love that ad. I love the music. Did you make that music? No, it's Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Those dogs yeah. look like fucking... They're That's ready for anything. They are. They're pumped. They're, uh, That's the gateway to the galactic sex dungeon. Right there. Right. If you want to, if you want so to prime, uh, galaxy key, or we call them rainbow keys, <laughs> you got to follow all his socials. Right? Yeah, rainbow yeah. Key. Follow him. I'm giving away one rainbow key. <laughs> okay. So, what's the release <laughs> schedule on? I'm, I have so many questions. Like, what What's the release schedule on these cards? Like, how often are these cards released? There, well, all right. So the first, the next one is coming out in October, probably Halloween. So you okay. can definitely use a trade in your uh, don't buy the candy for the kids. Make sure you have parallel ready <laughs> loaded up money. The Tootsie Pop or a, then, or a parallel pack. And they're selling packs. 
packs. Yeah, it's a pack. They're, and they're selling at the same price. Or are they gonna Are they gonna mark up because of demand? They haven't released pricing yet. I feel it's like gonna it's gonna be gonna hard be as hell to game, get one, right? I would assume it'd be the same. Yeah. First, uh, the core pack was 0. 0.02, so that, that's like 50 bucks. Then hands pack was, how much was that one? Uh, 0. 0.08. 0. 0. Yeah, 0. 0.1. And then the legendary was 0. 0.2. So very yeah. affordable things compared to the PFP wave of like 0. 0.08 for like shit. So people how hard do you think it's going to be to get one? Hard. Pretty hard. Yeah. Is it going to, but, but you said no gas war? They do a reserve system. So you first come, first serve. yeah there's still a first come first serve drop on their site but it's not right. on chain direct immediately what you do is you reserve on their site and then once you reserve on their site they send you an email saying hey pay the eth and then within 24 hours we'll drop the cards to you and so that way they can spread it out over a period of time and avoid the gas there's no way they're going to be ready for the botting that's going to happen on this next drop they were pretty ready there's on the no last way. one they, yeah, they stopped about they stopped how many lot. bots in that last one? I don't know. They stopped a lot. What they were saying on Saturday, Mr. Gone was talking about it. But now that we have the price, now that we actually have the floor on these cards, you know what I mean? Like now that we know how valuable they are, it's gonna it's gonna at least be ten times as complicated for them. It's got to be. It sold out instantly, though. It was like it was okay. really hot last time. I know a lot of people didn't know about it, but it was it was instant sellout. Okay, Halo so, is telling me that uh, they're working with Chainlink as we speak for some oracles and a lot of good things. They're literally taking the steps they have to take to, uh, you know, evolve this uh, system that they've created. So they're working with Chainlink. And who knows what else they're going to work with? I mean, October is a while from now. so And they work fast. Yeah. Ellie. Okay, great. I hope That's they great do know. it. I would love to see less bots get cards. <laughs> it's always so frustrating when, when bots... You see bot accounts just flipping cards right off the bat, but they they did a good job last time, so I have no reason to think that they won't do a, a good job this next time. But okay. yeah, the demand Are is you going to join on that? Oh yeah, I'll try. Cool. Uh, someone asked how many cards in a pack. Well, there's three cards in the uh, core pack, three cards in the enhanced pack, three cards in the per, uh, per premium pack. Um, yeah. And the way that the packs open are very awesome wasn't there four so you could is there four and some of them there was four i think i swear in my old videos there was four yeah i think four i'm tripping no worries yeah gotta be four yeah four bugging sensei doesn't know it all all the time i think and pretty much everyone who got packs the last one made like t at least 10x right like, <laughs> like at least but so life-changing stories for sure all over the tw all over twitter yeah i know personally i went i put i i had a pretty god pull though so I, I guess it's not a great example but i put in 0.22 was my pack cost because I, I gave i gave ryan a couple and then i've got like 75 eth right now holy e oh smoke. wow like your portfolio your portfolio parallel cards worth 75 ETH. yeah that's yeah from 0.22 that's crazy <laughs> and if i would have held the catalyst drive it would be at least at least uh, yeah probably probably somewhere around there <laughs> that's, that's dude so pretty crazy that's, 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 that's some democratized things right there you could have said they could have charged you know one e for this core pack but i think I, I don't think it would have helped their brand like this natural buzz did people talking about every their time i've page. talked with them they are very they they want to make a fun game and they want everyone to be able to play it and to get these cards and so it's the same thing that we talk about uh with like um with with jay's project right mark it's like you you get your fans in early for really cheap and then you let the secondary do its thing and then yeah, you know, people can ladder themselves up and so i would assume the pack drop next time will be probably around the same price so they can just try and get as many people in as they can how many packs per wallet? It was nine, to three of each kind last time. I don't know what the cool. next one's gonna be, but yeah. Okay. And were you able? You, and that's what you did. You just got three of each. Yeah. Um, I didn't get. Did you go? I, I didn't get the big boys because they sold out like more than instantly. But I got three of the basic ones and three of the 
um, enhanced ones. Cool. Yeah. Very There's cool. a tip there. If you're fast enough, there. Uh, I didn't know this when the packs drop. This is good information. That you can actually just press. There's a button where it mint all three three three. I was trying to manually change everything to three three three. Same. So there's a button that lives right underneath it. If you watch, that just you can do max. Like you could do the max. Uh, buy three three three. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! And that's on the website, or is that on either scan? That's the, the a, day of pack drop. Yeah, on You'll the on the it. website. They release that mint site or the reserve. Yeah. On the mint site. Cool. Very cool. Yep. Because yeah. if um, I would have did it, I would have got some um, premium. And I miss premium, so whatever. Yeah, I'm fucking kind of salty. <laughs> Same. So, if I'm interested in like, okay, how's the market right now? Dude, just talk, just cards? just talk about rug pull, bro. That's all you have to say. Talk about orphan. <laughs> That's all you have to talk about. We can, talk, just, we can talk about rug pull. What do you? What are we talking about? It about what they just announced? Dude, the just the way that the floor has risen from fifty dollars. Holy shit! To this. In yeah, ma- just with one announcement. So this is an addition of ten thousand for the non SE. Well, let's go over card types first, Young. That'll help give a little okay. bit more context for the type of cards we're we're looking at here. Oh, rug pull. Rug rug, rug pull, pull is a card. It's a it's uh, a card that they made. It was ten thousand. Actually, Young, go ahead and explain that real quick because you you know the whole story. Uh, there was something called the faucet, aka an airdrop, and the faucet allowed people to get. A free card from parallel it was like hey join our game here's a faucet so the faucet you turned it on it was like this animation that opened up and then boom you got the rug pull and it's a meme card i think it's like the first ever meme card they ever created and if you look at the card there's an actual fucking rug from an apartment co- a complex on it it's funny <laughs> but uh they're gonna be releasing another faucet soon a uh, free card that everyone can claim. Some people claim multiple in their multiple MetaMask accounts. Um, but it was kind of like a democratized thing. Now those people could sell it for three grand for something they got for free and kind of put that back into the ecosystem. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, what are, okay, there are cards in here that are actually, that are actually like planned on being used in the game. And then there are cards that are more cosmetic, right? Yes. Can you walk me through how that works? Yep. So the cards with the barcodes at the bottom, um, uh-huh. anyone with barcodes that you see here, or the QR codes, sorry, are, are yep. playable cards. Um, mm. The cards okay, cool. that have the full art and the little thin rule border. Let me see if I can scroll to one. Those are called masterpieces. <laughs> and masterpieces, what they do is they give the owner a percentage of all of the transactions um, on secondary market. So say, um, okay, here we go. We got a masterpiece here. This is uh, Manipulation Ray. So every time anything, any Manipulation Ray card is traded, the owner of this will get a payout of a certain percentage of the secondary sale. So it's basically like owning a, owning stock in a specific card. That's nuts. Yeah. But this wow. is not and that's 150 playable. Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty... What was the last sale on that? Uh, the most recent on, buy on that masterpiece? Kind of curious, yeah. On this one? Yeah, just scroll down. Oh, never. Down. I think, yeah, it was a, that's an original. Someone held that. From what I'm seeing, I don't know what they're selling for, but people are listing them for like one to 300. Yeah. ETH. Oops. I'm kind of interested in like some rare, rare-ish oh. cards. Nothing too rare, but something like relatively rare i don't want to buy too many common cards you know what i mean mm-hmm. so and so i go to the left here on OpenSea, and i can filter if i go to type no where do i where do i look for augen core cards oh, oh parallel augen core parallel augen core and i'll go there with oh, i love only... that they updated that that too that's huge yeah i, I think that's okay. something recent it used to be jankier for sure janky I, as I don't hell, but... filter from high to low what do, so, do you think that there's anything you and i you you and um young do you think there's anything that's undervalued right now oh yeah i think i've been loading up on that ocular implant ever since it was a uh, ocular two that's an augen core card some of the best art i think in the game everyone asks, asks me on my uh, discord go ahead how do you spell um, the ocular hit, implant? Hit, him, hit him up with the se versus regular um yeah information yeah 
Yeah, the SD is a special edition. Um, it has a hollow foil to it. Uh, it would be kind of like your first edition or alpha Lotus vibe. And uh, you actually get a physical card uh, that you can really? put on an AR board. Um, they even went uh, uh, in the community call like on Saturday and said that there's a paper to in, uh, to computer play. Like you can literally play on paper with this game when it does come out with like an AR functionality in real time with someone on the computer. So yeah, you get an actual physical like these right here when you buy an SC. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sick, dude. <laughs> did you print those yourselves or did you have those sent to you? No, they're sent, they're sent and me. signed. Signed them too. That's some juice. Juicy. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Um, that's and I nice heard shit. that when they released the like, everyone's like, "Hey, how am I gonna afford this game as a plebe?" Well, they're gonna have CC like two. That right now CC one is what we have now, which is uh, card circulation one, and then there will be card circulation two, which will probably have like thirty thousand prints. Mm, okay. those, those will have different angles so you can always identify like the og se's you know certain even certain different like maybe uh, art looks or yeah so it's uh, like a holographic charizard versus like maybe a normal charizard for sure yep gotcha cool um okay i'm looking at the ocular implant se 1.5 thousand of these guys and now i'm going to look at the standard ocular implant which is thirty-two thousand. gotcha mm -hmm. okay Wow, it's a lot less of the SEs, significantly less. A lot less. That's like fifteen hundred compared to like all the, you know, uh, the Twitter just passed thirty k Twitter followers on Parallel. It's heading for that board ape sixty uh, k, you know, seventy k. That's so crazy. I, I think this is just has room to grow. Uh, Orphan, what do you think? I feel like the market right now is in a calm before the storm. Um, there is the prime proposal which we can get into coming up this week. There's also the Galaxy Key Snapshot, which is tomorrow, mm -mm -mm. or which is Thursday, I'm sorry. Thursday. Yep. You're in the future. And uh, so there's there's a bunch of things coming, and right now the market's kind of a little bit uh, stagnant because people are holding all their shit so they can get the, uh, in that snapshot for the Galaxy Key. Because you can complete sets, and I'll try and pull up the graphic here. But there's different sets, and if you have a full set, then you get um, a mysterious key that they have yet to say what it is. I, w I want to congratulate you, though. You mentioned before we got on, you got the Galaxy key, so congratulations, Orphan. You're the man. Thanks, dude. You uh, you helped make it happen. Young is uh, letting me borrow one of the card one of the card backs that I needed. So I had the I have the other four, but he's he's letting me borrow that one. So I, I couldn't have given it up to another a better human <laughs> being, a better DJ. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. I mean, this how is many th how many galaxy keys you think will be in existence? Because I'm thinking under 400. I'm thinking under three, 350. I think somewhere around 300 makes sense to me. It's going to be very coveted. Yes. How do I I'm messing everything up? Um. Yeah. It's not going to be that many. Because what was, what was the last count? People are like counting with how much. It was like 289. 289. Yeah. I think we'll be under 350. Hey, Siggy, thank you for the sub. So this these are the sets you can get. PD1 is oh. the most recent drop. It stands for Pack Drop 1. Okay. And PS15 was pre-sale 15, so that was the original card set. So anything PS15 is the first ever dropped and okay. then anything pd1 is this second iteration but actually like technically the first pack drop tell me about these art cards that that, that sounds really cool to me the art cards yeah yeah so the art cards are is that just like hyper special edition card they're one of one con very concept expensive. arts very expensive. they're very expensive wow. you can one use them apparently oh this one's eight edition of eight yep but you can use them as card backs i guess which is crazy um, do they when they linked this information in the beginning, like in February in Clubhouse, mm -hmm. this was like our first chance to see this shit come to life and to see like the actual like Hogan Core develop to where it's at. It's like oh, they they all they really just started with a concept. 
pretty and they showed it to everyone yeah gotcha. is there any utility yeah. to the art cards young i don't i haven't heard about that just wait till you actually have to complete a set and you actually get like staking prime rewards i'm throwing that out there that's gonna happen mm. so full sets will earn you some type of currency i swear yeah. i swear it's not team info though so don't hold me to that there's not a lot of team info on the utility there's a lot of hints and leaks and drops but there's nothing official that's what the prime proposal is going to be they're going to propose what the catalyst drive does what the prime key does what the galaxy key does and they're going to put that out like officially and is there voting on that young yeah i would hope i mean they they they're, they say what do they call it the paradox Mm -hmm. We're trying to change that to the Citadel, the, the voting system or whatever. <laughs> yeah. They don't necessarily say it's a DAO, but I I'm think like, they don't want to say it right now. I'm like really sinking my teeth in now. I'm just trying to like really understand just the Ogden Core cards here. And I'm specifically browsing the special editions just because I like, Why not? I like, I like special editions. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, whenever I get like a DVD, I never get I hate buying standard DVDs. It's the worst. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want my special fucking edition. I want the nice back. I want the little book and you know what I mean? Um, so I'm browsing the special editions here and I feel like, tell me, you know, weigh in y'all. I feel like this Amperage card feels like it has a really strong value because there's only 500 of them and they're pointing yeah, to rare. That would be a rare. What do you mean a rare? The 500s are the rares. The 250s yeah. are the legendaries, and then the 1500s oh. are like the uncommon, ultra, ultra common, which I think. Yeah, but doesn't five it point eight to Ethereum for a 500? That sounds nice. Because can you go to that orphan so we can like see this. Yeah, Amperage. It's an Amperage card. I've got the. I'm not on the cards. I'm on the graphic real quick. This is, that mm -hmm. shows the stripes. We got com okay. common, uncommon, rare, legendary, prime, SE, perfect loop, which is animated. And then asset, which is the big boys, the catalyst drive and prime key. Cool. And then what did you want me to go to, Young? Uh, the card that he's looking at, kind of, kind of assessing it in real time. Which what is it? The I, ample. I can send you links over Discord, Orphan. Would that help? Uh, no, I'm on the page. Okay, Amperage special edition. Amperage. Is that the one that like that looks like a cell, right? Like a like a attached with the electricity it actually, coming out. It, it looks yeah. It actually looks like a like a charge, like a time charge. Looks like mm, it looks like it's on the spine too. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like an explosive backbone or something. Cool oh, art. Shit. I mean, there's 500 of them, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty low, it's and pretty it's low. 0.82 Ethereum. I mean, it feels Dude. like it feels like that's undervalued compared to Ocular Implant, which is 1,500 of them for 0.31 Ethereum. The Augen Core have the most room to rise out of all the 500s. Like they, I've I, I've been buying. 0.8s, 0.7s, 0.9s. Like I just bought a mechanized from Algon Core SE for 0.8, and it's now one ETH. So there's a lot of people are not paying attention to the Algon Core. That's they're, why I always have to talk, tell them, hey, they're the most Algen underrated are, like, for really sure. Undervalue things. Um, everyone's very shroud based, Marcolian based, um, Earthen based, but like the shroud is not. The shroud has a lot of room to grow. For the upside just saying same with kathari yeah kathari I mean, and augen core it... are the most underrated right now as far as like representation in the discord and i dropped the yeah. discord link in chat for everyone the faq in the discord is honestly priceless there's a lot of good information there yeah. wow people just don't want to read it <laughs> it's no, i'm not to read it but it's a lot to read through, it but it's all there cool um Walk me through the cardbacks, Orphan, because you were talking to me about cardbacks. Like, tell me about cardbacks. What are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've ever played Hearthstone, there's seasonal cardbacks, and that changes the way that the back of the card, the front card, the front of the cards do your action and what makes it different, right? But then the back of the cards just, in Magic, it's that brown basic art. In Hearthstone, I don't even remember what it was. It's like their logo. But you can change what you what your deck looks like by changing your card back and so um i'm gonna pull up the card backs for the stream but that's basically and also that's, to, the, to the chat i'm getting a uh red marcolian tattoo on my neck card Ooh, back. that's sick so here gotta we go. do it it's time it's time so it's these time. are all the card backs right now 
um, pulling them up on stream, and they um, they just change the way your deck looks. But if you've played a if you've played a digital card game before, the value people love card backs. They love to customize their deck because if you buy a card, like if you buy an edition of a card and you think it looks cool, but it doesn't play well, it's not used in like competitive decks or it does it's not fun to use. Uh, it's pretty much all but worthless like no one wants to buy it because no one cares and like you know there's a lot of more risk in buying the actual like card fronts but card backs if you pick one you like you can use it on any deck and you can you know have have something uh, swaggy on any deck you want so God. it's a flex for sure i it's mean when board apes flex. And all the homies come in here and then you're playing your parallel deck they're like damn like this guy has a couple card backs yeah he must be og I think personally that it's less, it's just a less risky flex because SEs, the utility of, of those cards is going to be, you know, it's, it's, um, play to pay. So it's, um, you're going to be able to get them for free if, if you want to. And so the SEs are a flex as well, but they're a riskier flex because there's a chance that your card sucks. It's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a good statted card or it's not useful where the card backs mm. will always be useful if you like the art. So when does the game come out? Good question. I don't know. They don't have any. Okay. They don't. They don't have an announced date. They've got a road the board map. leaks in September, so the actual playing board will leak in September. Um, okay. They, they're giving it a year from the time of pack drop, uh, October PD one, to come out. So, I'm honestly patient. I don't want them to rush it. What what it does to the market in that time? Who knows? I mean, uh, yeah. I just only see it scaling by us uh the, the way we're growing i don't really see any cataclysmic event if the board sucks you know or the prime proposal sucks which people <laughs> are like selling the rumor or whatever hmm. i think what do you mean people are selling the rumor Is, there's a the prime proposal um uh -huh. prime keys were, were 22 eth two days ago and now they're 18. some right. speculators are saying hey they're taking profits on their prime key because they think that the prime proposal will suck ass which they're just they're just crypto people that's what crypto people do they they sell the rumor yeah they buy absolutely. the news well, they buy the well, rumors. i don't know if it's buy, buy, the, the buy the rumor sell the news so oh, exactly so you, you buy hearing that there's going to be some sort of staking or some sort of tokenomics behind it and then you sell when the proposal's coming out right yeah but, but. i think they're going to get wrecked because <laughs> early flippers of pd1 got wrecked too if they would have just held, they would have had a lot of ETH in their, uh, in their, in their valuation. So when's the right time to buy? Dude, I would say now. I think now is a fine time to buy. I don't give financial advice, but I'm buying. I got you. So... No financial advice. No financial advice. Yeah. None of this where is you, financial advice, you recommend advice, that chat? somebody? Yeah, this is not financial advice. Are you dumb? What are you, dumb? <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't Goldman Sachs. This is Orphan's Attic. <laughs> The way I see it, Mark, is exactly exactly that. Um, right now, people are selling into the news, and so if you're bullish, it's a, it's a probably a good time to pick stuff up. I see that we kind of came down a little bit from the weekend, so which is good for me as a new as a new yeah. interested buyer. Yeah. Um, where do you think someone should start? Like me, I'm not super interested in playing this game. I'm not planning on really playing it. I don't think I'm not saying that it's going to be bad. I just don't see myself playing. it. That's I could fair. be wrong. The future is the future is a, is a, is a place oh, where I have no clue. It, it's going to be all over. It's, it's the new Pokemon. You're going to play it eventually. <laughs> okay, sure. great. You're at least going to watch where, the movie. I mean, I don't have to I don't have to create a deck. I don't have to create like a, a deck that I think will kick ass right now because I can always fill later in the future with like common whatever, like a third edition. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you were, where would you, where would you recommend someone like me start browsing? What should I start? What should I start really like getting? What, what, what kind of card should I start getting into? Should I, should I really do this card back game? Should I get heavy into this card back game? Should I start really checking out these SEs? These I would hold legendary off on, SEs. I would hold off on the card backs. I think that once the, well, I, maybe now is not the time to buy. I think a lot of movement's going to happen after the snapshot because people are holding right now. They've bought extra. That's why the price went up over the weekend. 
They bought okay, what, extra. What's a, what do you mean snapshot? They're taking. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta really break everything down for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go back over it. I, Come on, orphan. Um. So th what I've got up on screen here is the. Um, these are sets that you can make. Okay. So you're. What they announced is a thing called the Galaxy Key, and the Galaxy Key basically is. Um, it's a reward for people who collect complete sets. So say you have all of all five of the card backs, then that's a set completed and you would get a galaxy key for that. Say you had all of the PD one commons or the, the non SEs, then that's a set and you would get a galaxy key for it. Um, and so what is the galaxy key? Nobody knows what a galaxy key is, but I have, there, I know. there is strong speculation. You know? I know, dude. I there, see the what is it? I'm, Mark, I'm, I'm Mark Crowley. And it has been all but confirmed oh. that it's a galactic sex dungeon somewhere beyond the rings of Uranus, where um... the the plasma paddles and the um, <laughs> asteroid ball and gags are second to none. They're absolutely yeah, immaculate. The, don't forget the um, don't forget the uh, the obsidian butt plug too. Yes. Those are really good. It's, Can you go back to that it's infographic? Good because orphan? it's black, and so you can't tell if it's dirty or not, which adds intrigue. <laughs> <laughs> let me in the dungeon. Get, just let Almost us in does. the dungeon already. Let me in. Oh, okay, so all, you let need me. to have all five of the card backs, the, the standard card backs, like the colored ones. Yeah. What's the price on those right now? Like, if I were to buy one of each of those right now, what would be the price? Because you've got me yeah, really curious. I'm, they average about eight right now. I'm doing. I'm doing seven point. Well, they're coming. They they came down a little bit. They average about eight right now. Um, I was hyping them up, and people in the Discord. If you want the real alpha, go to the Discord. If if people. What do you mean the real alpha? Well, if you just want, there's a lot of, a lot of smart people in the Discord talking about all these cards and like what's value. Shout out to Dior. And, yeah, Dior's pretty pretty awesome. Dior has a great YouTube um, channel. He's starting up to. So, How many people well, do you think are gonna get a Galaxy key? Less than three fifty, yeah. I, I would say. It's gonna be really coveted. Because this is this is what I'm assuming, okay? That they dropped concept cards in PS fifteen. This is the sensei assuming. So okay. this Galaxy key, they have concept cards as well for PD one and also PD two that's coming out in October. Okay. And I'm pretty sure they're going to start giving these in the because you get three cards with the galaxy key i believe it's like a pack in a sense and i think it's going to be all card backs really signature art maybe um some hidden things like ps15 is that an uh, ic's i don't know i'm assuming oh okay okay um i was I thinking think that that's it... why people are going after these grails because something that costs 65k should give you something that is worth maybe 65k or uh, more than that yeah i was hoping that this is my speculation is i think that they said they're announcing the paragons which are basically mark those are like heroes for each deck um they're okay. they're announcing that this weekend um on their podcast and on thursday on th oh on thursday their podcast yeah, that's, yeah. and mm -hmm. so i have a feeling that there might be some sort of uh tie in with that and the galaxy key you may get like um a guaranteed pack like, like something like young saying like you'll get a guaranteed like juicy card but i think that the paragons might be involved somehow paralon concept cards that would be sick that would be very you've sick. got me seriously considering just buying a full i mean that sounds like a great way to go man i mean that, that's that that's got to be undervalued right i mean because you're just getting oh, a, you're getting a rare card boom just out of nowhere right well, there's no, yeah, there's we, nothing official. So, like, this is speculation. They haven't said, what's the most they've said, Young? They've said it's they, it's not going to have to do with Prime, so it's not going to have to do with their their token. And you're gonna get. They said you get access to the faucet. Yeah. And that faucet is going to be an elite space galaxy faucet. Mm -hmm. Think of faucet. Think of a portal. With leather. You know, oh. they dropped the rug pull. That's three thousand dollars now for that one card that was free. But what what can uh, actual an elite faucet do for galaxy collectors yeah. key holders so that's my big speculation and you can burn them too like the last man standing is probably going to have a really really awesome last galaxy key in existence you can burn the key for prime you can burn the key you have to burn the key to get your your reward oh into so the, the hidden reward i see i see so i'm not going to get my reward i'm going to be one of those last holders 
because I want to keep the galaxy key. I'll probably get unopened. the reward because I'm uh, a long time. I'm a DJ. Oh. Um, Parco, you have a P PD one standard set. Yeah, hold that shit. Thursday at yeah. 5 p.m. EST is when the snapshot is taking. So, to how your... did you not know? So, <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, so, Mark, I'll buy uh, it from you, Parco. Thursday, <laughs> Thursday at five, they, you know, they snapshot, so they freeze, they take take a look at who owns what at that point in time. And at five EST, five EST on Thursday, they take a look, and then past that point, like that's the frozen in time. So you can, I think, past that point, a lot of stuff will come down in price. I think a lot of people are artificially buying up more than they feel comfortable being leveraged on, and they're gonna probably dump some of that back into the market after. So. Yeah, because when you have when you have like a moment like this, I mean, everyone thinks, oh, that's just the first thought that people have is like, oh, I mean, you know, the price is going to skyrocket after this announcement. Mm -hmm. But that's people are way smarter than that. People are operating multiple steps ahead of that assumption. So they're trying to game the system. You know what I mean? But devil's advocate, the amount if you're if you weren't in super early, well, there's two types of people who are going to have a full set, right? It's people who were in super early and just have collected and held despite these crazy prices because they just mm -hmm. announced it not too long ago right so it's people who have held from the beginning like young yep and it's people like uh, paragon who came in and spent three million last week and bought up a ton of shit so they have all the money to do it it's a paradigm pra uh paradigm sorry 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 mm -hmm. um so it's a pretty high ticket item so you either need high conviction or you need high dollars and yeah. those two those two groups of people aren't necessarily going to be flipping um, on the back end of it. So there's an interesting dynamic there just because of the cost of entry into it. Is the Galaxy Key an NFT? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that'll not, that'll inherently have some value. Have you just... seen what it looks like? No. Did we see, do we know what it looks like? Oh it's sick. I'm going to oh, I'll show you. We call it the rainbow key. It's the most beautiful key in all the galaxy. Can galaxies. I see it? Yeah, it's, Link it and show me. It's pretty tight. I'm DJ Khaled doesn't even have one. It's up on stream. DJ... Is it is it live? No. They, no. This is just the art. Cuz okay, they yeah. They, uh, they have out. to wait till after the snapshot so they know how many to mint. Wow. What do you think is inside that galaxy key? What is that like a uh, cosmic uh, energies? It all the parallel. looks like galactic galactic lubricant to me. Hmm. You're just so dirty, dude. Yeah. Well, if it's a sex dungeon, dude, it's gotta be something like that, right? You don't swipe this through your fucking ass, bro. That's you fair. It might just it. be the key to get in. Yeah. You, what am I thinking? You don't put lube in <laughs> in the keyhole to get into like a swingers in house in Florida. So. <laughs> There's a part of me that really wants to buy all the cart backs right now. I'm not lying to you. This is the true collector of Mark the Habibi. That's, that's, that, that's a, terif that's a terrifying. That's a terrifying move. How, how, like, that, how much is that? Me. Eight times five. That's forty. Yeah, that's 40 40 uh, that's forty ETH. ETH. We're gonna be in between thirty-five and forty ETH. Yeah, that's a lot, I would, man. Like Mark, I'm telling you, I would help you. I would help you if you needed. Sometimes. Do you have any up. extra backs? I don't have any extra backs, but I have good PD ones. Hey, Mark. Here, here, here's an idea, Ryan. Okay. Ryan is trying to finish and he says he has Ryan how many cards do you have left but he says he's not going to make it and so there's a possibility that if you work together with Ryan you can pull all your cards in one in one uh, wallet and then yeah, yeah, split yeah. the galaxy you guys can key, share the galaxy key yeah. five, mm. five I didn't left. think about that five PS15s left I didn't think about that that might be a good yes. move what's a PS15 um, that's the original. The non SEs. You want to go with the non SEs because the SEs are astronomically hollow foil more expensive. Yeah. PS15 oh, but it doesn't the matter. Original, yeah. base okay. the original 15. Yeah, it's the draw. It was the draw before into. this one. Yeah. Hold on. You get a Galaxy key for making any set? Yeah. Any set. That graphic. Oh, that I so what's up. the cheapest set to make? Um, <sighs> well, with you, if you know. collab with, hey, yeah, that seems cheap, depending on which ones you're missing from his pool. Most no, forget it. Would be PD one. No, I mean PD one is the cheapest. The, let's put a collab with Ryan aside for now. Um, I love you, Ryan. Sorry. Um, yeah, get bent, right? PD one. PD one. What's a PD? What's PD one? 
This that's uh, this I need most actually, recent drop. Let me link you this. Uh, let me actually give you the uh, chart on your computer. Yeah, I need that chart. I can't rely on Orphan to pull it up every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Let me give it to you. I'll give it to you. Give me a sec. Oh, here it goes. It's there in it goes. The, in the parallel Discord market. It's in the FAQ. That's where I grab oh, it from. You got it in the chat of our group chat there. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's a tiny image. There's got to be a better. Can you blow version. it up? It's, nah, it's, it's, that's the max size. It's not I'm gonna go to parallel quality. Discord. Am I not in the it, Discord? It's not any on bigger on... <laughs> it's a pretty small does image. The, does the chat know what? what PD1 costs, guys? The chat, can you give us a, the, the valuation on PD1? I should know this. I mean, it was 20 ETH it was 20, four days ago. 22 right now. 22 ETH right now. Oh, Pretty so sure. I should not go for the cardbacks. No, no reason no. to go for the cardbacks. No. Yeah, well, no why reason. aren't you guys trying to stop me? We did. Because we we You didn't say why. Pinky <laughs> card back. That's what we're doing right so, now. Cool. All right. I feel like I had to come to that conclusion myself. And I was like, wait, if you complete any set, do you get a galaxy key? Anyways, mm -hmm. I just want, I want you, I want, I want, I want him. If I make a mistake, I need y'all to like jump in and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. if you want a galaxy key, any set will do. Yeah. That's what this that is graphic kind of a, is. Anything cool. that's, anything that's enclosed is a in set. History. Gotcha. And, did, and I think, I think I knew that there were rewards for the sets, but I didn't know that every reward all roads lead to a galaxy key. Mm, gotcha. Yep. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Each different one. I didn't explain that very well. So yeah, each different um, complete set gives you a galaxy key. Dude, I really wish. Weeks. I really wish that Gaz Unchained. I I completed a bunch of sets there, and I never got anything. So it's like really mm. cool to see that we're getting rewarded Guys, with that NFT model early. Stop. Like, Missing watchers in the chat. Round no of way. applause for Mission Watcher. What's up? Ooh! Of the reception today. Round of applause for Missing Watcher. One of the highest gifted uh, in history. Him and Jake battling it out for number one gifted subs. Yeah, that's what's up. Mask on for Watcher. I can't wait to play that game. Mask on for Watcher, everyone. Mask on for sure. How's the reception today, Watcher? Yeah. For sure. What an entrance. That's what's up, dude. You deserve it. Okay. Um, what were you, what were you saying? Teeth. I was saying that I never got rewarded for completing a whole set in Gods Unchained, and I have a bunch of completed sets. Gods Unchained, come on, bro. That's the thing That's that do. makes me so excited about Parallel is, well, first of all, I love card games. Um, <clears throat> second of all, there's so many collectible <clears throat> mechanics, like, for magic as well like you if you complete a set in magic like you don't get anything the digital aspect of parallel being on the blockchain gives them the flexibility to do all these cool rewards for people who genuinely love their shit and collect it there's yeah. uh, you you've done this with habibi's mark where it's like there's if you collect two you make a relationship right uh, but it, right. imagine getting two magic cards down at your local store and they're like and you, you're like, hey, I got these, you know, these pair, like a Dark Angel and uh, Light Angel. And they're like, well, can you give me something? Yeah, they're like, fucking cool, like, leave. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, but now there's so much room to be able to um, set up a system that rewards people for being super enthusiastic about your shit. So, and yeah. they're, they're clearly gonna... taking advantage of it. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm going to sleep on this. I might go, I might grab a PD1 set tomorrow, man. I really might. Holy I'm, shit. I'm... That's crazy. That's crazy. Who would, I, I that's would, doable. Mm -hmm. That's very doable. I came into the stream very serious. I came in very serious. Um, I like it. I've also got our blocks and our blocks I want to buy on Friday, so I have to like figure out how I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Man, you like what... offload any shit PFPs? Shit what? You offload any PFPs for like the <laughs> set? Yeah, I can I can maybe sell like some of my I could sell my my Oni if the market does well tomorrow on the Oni maybe. Ooh, um, but that, Oni? that that would hurt. That would hurt. I it would, would hurt to sell. I one. would hold that one. I would hold yeah. that. That thing is going rocket. Yeah. But I don't know, yeah. man. I mean, it's not I feel like parallel is just It could be the man. next ape. Like Oni 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 is taken a man at apes. Missing watcher wow. 10 gifted. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, they are. They really are, bro. The sideways profile, like the gorillas, I'm like, damn, who would have thought? Like, just to put a shit on a sideways like that. <laughs> know, it right? makes the babies look basic, bro. It really does. No, no way around it. Basic, no, 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 no way. Cool. Those are um, relics of the time. But man, 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Oni. I don't really know where it's going to go, but we'll see. Maybe I'll hold that. I wonder if I have anything. Sometimes I look at my collection and, and I'm, I think like I have a bad, I have a dumb collection. And then I look in there, I'm like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I gotta, I got, maybe I can, maybe I could scrounge a few e ETH and uh, make this, make this happen. Dude, having a prime or having a galaxy key, it looks, sounds cool, man. It does sound sounds cool. cool. Yeah. You're, you're going to be in the club with some elite people, some VCs, um, Paradigm, Focus, a bunch of cool people, bro. Rookie, yeah. who else? Pacificus, mm -hmm. Little Moon Lambo. It's a bunch of cool like collectors. I love all these names. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a world we live in. I know. <laughs> Little Moon Lambo. It's so sick. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think honestly, most of the NFTs I have, I never collect. I never collected NFTs because I was like, this is gonna make money. I collected NFTs because they were my buddy's work and I thought they were cool. They're just like, this is cool. Um, not all of them have, have, have skyrocketed in value. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't think I have any super valuable NFTs. I don't think I have any NFTs that are like, holy. Uh, I think my Savage Dogs might, I, I really think that those could be worth I'm jealous I missed pretty, Savage Dogs. Man. Pretty penny in the future. Yeah, 100%. I missed it. Someone says sniped an ocular implant SC because of the stream. Wow. Ooh. Wow. You mean on your own without like any influence of this stream? We're just talking about what we're doing in our personal lives. Right, IRS? Do you think that FBI? you can get a Galaxy Key when it drops for cheaper than paying for the uh, the inflated prices of the non-SEs right now? Do you think do you think, do you think the non everything's inflated right now? Yeah, the non-SEs of PD1 are inflated, I feel. So annoying. Yeah. Uh... The SEs are not. The non SEs are inflated. They rose. And then Dior always says that after Galaxy Key is over, they're going to dump. But SEs will hold its value. Mm -hmm. Non SEs right. will. Yeah, they'll dump. They'll dump. That's the thing. Maybe, maybe the I'll go for the Galaxy Key. I'm sure some people are going to be flipped. Mm. Flippers. Well, uh, here's the thing. It's, That's going to be tough. Ice That's here's how I look at it, right? It's exponential. So the lower it's like we've talked about with habibis mark a one of one is exponentially more valuable than a th uh, a three edition yeah right um and so if you're if you're buying if you're doing an inflated price of like we'll say 25 percent if you're if your cost of entry is 25 percent inflated because of the market people trying to get these galaxy keys but the galaxy key makes you 100 eth it's it's like okay well that's worth it you know you you've you've pay, paid inflated but probably only like one or two eth total for the whole how set. many catalyst drives are there i should just 150 catalyst drives 150 whoa prime keys which are going for 20 around 20 eth right now are the 1500 and we're assuming that there will be 400 of the galaxy keys so they are so rare that would, <laughs> yeah that would, that would put them in the that doesn't make any yeah. sense. That would that would put them in like the potentially in like the 60, 70 ETH range, right? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you do the math. Yep, if you really think about it. <laughs> That's yep. why it seems like a good bet. Yep. Look, 10,000 uh, there's 21 million Bitcoin. There's 10,000 CryptoPunks. <laughs> there's 1500 prime keys, baby. Get out of my face. Do the math. <laughs> do the goddamn the, math. The one Get the, out of the my one face. devil's advocate to that mark is that um we don't know what it does just yet. And what we do know is that the catalyst drive and the prime key will will yield you somehow um, prime tokens, which is the game's currency. Um, so you basically okay. those will basically be like yield farming for for the yeah. game. Do the devs okay? So so when we're talking about the devs here, do you think these devs are the kinds of people that would say we? I mean, it's, so based on what you've been telling me, it seems like the devs are the kind of people that would make the galaxy key crazy because they're not <laughs> telling you what it does because yeah. it seems like they want to reward the people that bet on them mm -hmm. that, that's my vibe me. am i wrong they rewarded me i'll tell you this for being in ps15 they rewarded me 11 prime keys for free 11 <laughs> how much are those worth right now 22 eth dude 22 eth <laughs> That's 200, 220 eth they, they had no incentive to even give me that but they said here you go Here's a prime key. We didn't even talk to you about tokenomics. We just would love that you collected. 
here's the tokenomics that I've been now. So I know they're going to be throwing curveballs left and right. We're only fucking four months in, yeah. and we've been top ten value uh, on OpenSea for all time. And they just so did things it. Are gonna, things are going to get real dicey in a good way. They they just did it with rug pull. So rug pull was like one of the cheapest like memeiest cards out there, right? And what they said is everyone who owns a rug pull is now entered into a giveaway to win a super special, like limited edition version of rug pull. And then rug... it's just a rug. Yeah. The flower's not even there. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The flower's rug. gone. It's just the landscape. <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing cool shit like continuously. Uh, uh, cool shit left. And wait, right am, I, am I going for PD one or PS 15? Which one did we say? PD one is the cheapest. PD1 PS15 is the cheapest. will cost you around like 35 ETH. So if you want to... Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you think the card backs will not will dump after Thursday too? I don't know about them. Those things hold value, bro. Um, There's only 100 of them each. Yeah. Card back. I They're think like, that's kind of cool. I think card backs are undervalued at, at 7 or 8, wherever they are now. Um, 10 was my first stage to um, to take profit on one of them. I bought three originally at one ETH, and I'm like, okay, at 10, I'll sell one. But, oh, you, you were buying card backs when they were just one ETH? <laughs> yeah, that's how I had the, th the three. Good job, dude. I, I bought one yesterday at six, and then Young's, cool. Young's being a homie for the last one. Hell Yo, yeah. they, he Time said, off. and you get the SE version of Rug Pull if you hold. Yes. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, so you get you the, get the there's, a, there's a day version and a night version, and so if you hold it, for this for the giveaway you get the other one dropped to you how do i search for pd1 cards is there a way to just filter i don't know if there is i don't know you would so have I can't to even look... read this thing dutch boy you thanks for the to... sub you would have to see the pd1 um or P it... P yeah pd1 sorry yeah the pd1 is it's literally i don't know i would go from low to high and then just um and then just scroll down to see all the pd ones and like Does look it at say the pd one on the card no ryan you dropped you a link in chat and match it dutch boyd um there it, oh, there, th there are spreadsheets floating around in the discord let me link you guys to the discord again oh nice and and this you just click through and it takes you to every single page okay great and Ooh, some, uh, some honestly are... mark it's expensive. You would you would definitely be awesome leading the Augen Core. There's a there's a bunch of cool leaders there, but you're definitely our leader for that. Because the lore, you have you have to read the lore too. We don't even talk about the lore. The lore is like very cinematic, very deep movie. Like it has a lot of expansion there. Yeah. So and it and it captivates you. So yeah. Um, storytelling is my thing. You know, especially you as a filmmaker type guy. I don't know if I could sure. say that. Um, totally can, dude. Azale okay, North cool. uh, snapshot for Galaxy Keys or for the for the Parasets is on Thursday at five EST. So that's two PST. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what up, man? Um, there was a time. When was that time you made the video when we were thinking that the market would dump and then it didn't dump and it anti-dumped? Anti-dump. Um, when I sold my Catalyst drive. Yeah, we were. I, I was with you in a little too. I was like, dude, well, this market got a dump. I mean, it happens in all every every project. So that was. And then it didn't. It was right around that time, yeah. And then it just blasted off into the fucking moon. <laughs> Which was like, damn, I missed my opportunity to buy like really cheap SEs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I sold for fourteen, random mouse, which is uh, it hurts. But um, I reinvested in the card backs and in a, a prime key, so I'm still I'm still. And he's gonna right. get a he's gonna get a rainbow key now, so it's all gonna be working. It's all coming together. It's all good. What's the rainbow key about? That's the galaxy that's the, key. That's the galaxy key. We just oh. have a funny thing in Discord where we call it rainbow keys. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, man, I might have to go for this. I might have to go for the key. I kind I, I want to be a part of it, and I feel like there is a opportunity here to get a two fifty. 250 out of 250 that seems pretty cool yeah did you say 250 300 do you think is the s is the guess for the galaxy key 280 is completed sets right now i think okay um, that's good to know yeah and yeah the, and a lot uh, of my whale a lot of my whale friends are like dude i can't complete it i'm like damn yeah. like, <laughs> why can't I'm they complete bullish. it <laughs> why can't they, they complete sold, it? they sold a lot why can't they buy back if they're whales they were whales until they sold <laughs> <laughs> that's true you can get priced out easy for sure
Yeah, that's a clip. Somebody should totally <laughs> clip. I'm clipping that. That's awesome. That's a good moment. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they were whales no. until they sold. Fucking wrecked. <laughs> Mm, that's so good. There's so many clips right now with like, especially what you're doing, Mark. With your, uh, do you run a podcast, Mark? That's too good. Mark's got a stream. Man, you have a stream, Mark. I haven't streamed in August because I haven't dropped. And mm. but yeah, I do. I do weekly streams. They're cool. We get about thirty people each time, yeah, um, unless I'm doing that. a giveaway. Then there's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you might um, be the you might be the Ogden Core's voice for podcasts. You never know if you really could dive deep in this though. You could certainly I do might. It. Here's the problem is like an orphan. I'm sure orphan and Ryan have been noticing this is like I have been getting like kind of into collecting because I've been chilling a little bit in August. Mm. Um, just like really letting a babies like breathe. Um, mm. Just giving it a little bit of time. I'm coming back in September very hard. Mm. Very exciting plans. Dropped. So because I've been chilling, I've just been getting into the collecting game, man. Pump my money where my mouth is. It's, and it's fun. Love to see it. It's fucking fun, dude. I've been having a great time. I don't even care if Dead Fellows isn't pumping, dude. I I love my Dead Fellows. Mm-hmm. Freaking They'll adore pump. them. They'll go. I'm excited. I think they will, dude. They got to. I'm excited to get an art block. I'm going for an art block, and I and I kind of really want. I really don't want to miss the parallel boat. One of the reasons why I wrote off parallel in the beginning was because I was like, man, I don't know, card games tricky. Um, what if people don't like it? It's a game. Lots of games are released. People don't love every game that's released. Excuse mm-hmm. me. What I didn't realize was the scope of this collection. I wrote it off too quickly. I didn't do my research and really look at this look at this entire collection that they're dropping. I thought they were dropping like 15, 20 cards. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't realize that they were dropping like like bunch of shit with totally cool mechanics and awesome artwork you know what i mean um that was just like went right over my head mm-hmm. so i, I don't want to miss the second train that's a universal story right orphan across twitter too it's like it's very universal like even yeah. board apes like josh ong top shot wiki dude mm-hmm. i missed it like help and it's like really yeah. cool to see us all banding together to try to help what do you think about that orphan I think 100% i think that the the hype is unreal i'm super interested to see how the next pack drop goes because they're literally everyone i've talked to is like they either think oh i missed it and then they've given up or they're like how do i get into this like how, how do i do it um yeah. so the demand is certainly there and they're doing cool stuff like it it kind of hits all the boxes for me the only box that that it doesn't check is like um it's just like there's we're in a volatile space anything can happen <laughs> and like you you actually just can't check that box but People are pumped about it, and the community is amazing. The community helps people all day, every day, brings them in. There's a few, me, Young, Dior are all making content about it. Um, there's like yeah. a lot of information coming. It's only going to get better the bigger it gets. So, I'm how bullish. much of a dump do you think is going to happen on these um, PD 15s? PD ones. PD ones. How much do you think? How much do you think they're going to dump? I think a good fifty percent. Fifty. Flash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Holy God, <laughs> that's terrifying. And I really, I'm saying, I'm saying it right now, so it can go the opposite. Because everything I say sometimes gets fucking janked. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about fifty. Uh, that's my ballpark number. Yeah. Sorry to be the bear there. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's the cheapest. It's the easiest to get into. It's. They still got more. You still it, could pull more in pack. It's the less rare. It's the cheapest. So you're. The, the the probability of people who are not going to keep those cars is higher so you know i know they're gonna go after the scs they're literally gonna dump them maybe yeah. and go after scs like everyone's i think scs is yeah. the, the the pendulum will swing and then scs will go boom 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 and that's it and then they'll, they'll liquidate into something that's stable 1500 yeah. that doesn't come right. out anymore yeah i want that yeah for sure yeah you're right about that because that's what hmm. i want i'm not interested in the normal ones for sure it's like I wanna... now, now i know what mark's thinking you just threw him a curveball he's yeah. looking at oh should i do that ps15 guys uh, let me ask for mark how much is a uh how much is a pd1 se set that's got to be crazy right 
eating yeah. the um, I don't think that's it's going to be that's a huge set as though. PS15 though. I think it's going to be equivalent to the PS15 honestly. Mm. To be honest, that's too many cards just to keep track. That's that's Fucking too many lot. cards to buy. That's oh. just a lot of cards. Yeah, that you know is, what I mean? that is a lot. I didn't look It's an extra track. 15 or something, right? Yeah. The PD1 no, card back is attractive because it's just five cards. And I think yeah. if I make offers at seven Ethereum, maybe I think I could, I think I could get some offers in at seven. I've seen I'm seeing people do it right now, on on OpenSea in the last day. Some people are sliding in like bids at seven ETH and they're getting accepted for what the card back? Yeah, they're definitely the you definitely can do it yeah. if you do some stink bids. Yeah, and and go on the Discord too and say, well, there was a set, dude. Oh fuck, Mark. The other day there was a set of fi all five card backs that went for thirty three ETH. Not bad. That's, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. But it's it, it's old, so. I think I, I think you're gonna make up just by holding that galaxy key being like seventy ETH, sixty ETH itself. It's gonna equalize for you, maybe a little above ROI. You know. I don't want to so. equalize. You know what I mean? I want to make money. Strange. I know, said... but holding that thing, especially just the key alone. But what if you get like a really like rare one of one concept? Art. What do you mean? What do you mean get a rare one of one? Like when you when you when you uh, burn your prime key so you can see the rewards you got. What if you get some really sick rewards like a concept card? I mean, a galaxy, a galaxy star. So, oh, okay. It's yeah, a, galaxy. It's a big risk, big reward. I mean, yeah. we're talking oh. about minimum twenty-two ETH to get a set from from zero where Mark is. That's that's a grip. That's a grip. Strange World also says the penguin on up only stream was keyboard monkey as a guest. And they have a ma major whale in parallel now. Wait, they have a major oh. whale in parallel. Keyboard Monkey has a major whale in parallel now. And he was interested. I don't really understand what you're saying there, Strange, but it sounds like bullish news. <laughs> yeah, I know Keyboard Monkey. He 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 was on a he just got put it on a card. Oh cool. and uh definitely has a big collection. He owns a lot of uh pudgy penguins. Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of liquid around here trying to come back into something that's long term, yeah. like parallel. Nah, bro, Keyboard Monkey already exited. Did he? Selling Mars Orb for 3.5. Really? Well, hey, that's a dumb move, Keyboard Monkey. Yeah. You were a whale. Clip the other thing. Play it again. <laughs> yeah, run that clip back. <laughs> I, I can never. I, I didn't get it clipped, but I have the. the making the clip maker scene screen, screen saved here but i can't make it while we're on screen well, because... can you give me that maybe maybe next week so we could just fucking spam that yeah i hit i hit my uh clip button so I, i've got it too yeah i'm trying to find the discord here for parallel i wish it was just right on the site twitter twitter's twitter. the best I'll, I'll link it in chat yeah. parallel oh, nft like on twitter time. oh nice i found it uh -huh. Brilliant! Oh, I am in the web. I am in the Discord. It's just hidden amongst like my thirty million Discord. And everyone else in here, you know, follow me too, and make sure to drop a sub. Ooh. Smash that like button if you Put like music dogs. On. If you like dogs, any doggers in the chat, smash that subscribe button, and check to make sure if you see if you have a Prime because that's free. That's go ahead and spend Jeff Bezos's money on me. Thank you, <laughs> guys. If you don't sub to uh. Orphan, I'm gonna use my neutron bomb SE and just wipe your whole family away. Holy shit, the family? And uh, there's only a couple of those, so expect the wiping. <laughs> the wiping. The wiping. The wiping. The wiping. Do you have anything else you were curious about, Mark? Or, no, or but chat? You guys really put a bug. You guys put a very bad bug in my ear, and my <laughs> wife is gonna come for you. <laughs> Well, that's yo dinner on me, dude. Okay, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll come for us if you lose money, but if it if it flips into flips into a hundred ETH, like we're we're thinking, then she'll think you're a genius. She'll think you're. I just a, think this. Okay. Yeah, I just think you know you know what you know what I like about this Galaxy Key situation. I'm not gonna lie, um, it it's really bold, but it also this sounds really sad, but it does price out a lot of people that would be like, I want to make money. And it's like, you can't, cause you yeah. can't even afford it. <laughs> can't even, you can't even, you, it's like buying a lottery ticket, but the lottery ticket costs a million dollars. It's like, you mm. can't even get in on this lottery, dude. I like that. I, I mean, for me, somebody that has some, I, I wouldn't consider any of my ETH that I have to spare because I'm trying to buy a home. 
um mm -hmm. and i still can't afford it um in friggin massachusetts welcome to massachusetts um but <laughs> i do like that there this is kind of gated this galaxy key situation is pretty gated it's fomo on crack <laughs> They've done a really that, good job at at um, at stratifying their um, their system. There's yeah. a, there's a place for whales. There's a place for dolphins. There there's a place for players and a place for entry level. Right now we're kind of in that collector space, so there's not as much um, cheap cheap stuff. But when the when the game comes out, there's gonna be it's gonna be free. And there's at the same time as there's gonna be like a three hundred dollar concept card or a, right. th a 300 ETH concept card you know yep. that, that's crazy and that's really cool and oh. they also Mark they even hinted before uh, I have to roll to my next stream they hinted about uh, putting these packs in actual like real life so your t your targets your Walmarts where you can buy the pack a physical and redeem the NFT mm -hmm. so love it um, that's going to be really interesting dynamic there yeah I mean, this is going to have to be something to talk to my wife about. This is a big move, but it seems yeah. like, it kind of feels like a no-brainer, man. It feels like a no-brainer, if you can afford it. If you can afford it, it's worth the risk. I was talking to my dad yesterday about it because we, um, I, ch I chat with him about most of my financial stuff. Just, um, I love that. Because he's in the, in the business world. He's got the years on him. You know, he knows what's up. And uh, okay. he's done investing before as well. And so um, I asked him, yesterday i'm like okay well what's the what's the risk reward of this and he's like he like just talked me through the entire thing and it's like yeah well if you can it takes money to make money and that's i've never found that to be more true than being in the nft space if you yeah. can afford to ape into every single profile picture project and buy five of each mint five of each one of them's gonna hit and you're gonna have each one worth be worth 50 eth and like <laughs> you didn't just make all your money back and more but mm. you just can't do that if you, if you don't have the money. So right. I don't recommend that anyone get into parallel if it's a stretch because it's just not a great risk reward. If you, if you can, if you like get completely wrecked, then it's, it's not worth it. But if you have, the you don't think it's a good risk reward. No, the risk reward is there, but not if, not if the stakes are high enough where you don't make rent the next month. If you, uh, oh, if you, no if you need to hold a parallel card. <laughs> you know. I so so when when ETH hit 3k, yeah. I sold enough ETH. I sold basically enough ETH, which wasn't that much, but to pay rent for the rest of the year, just because I'm like, oh. let me let me just yeah. let me just cover my bills. You know what I mean? Let me just get my bills going. Um, You're so, so yeah. king. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, it wasn't ETH, but I, I say ETH. It was Tez because you know <laughs> I'd rather have ETH than Tez. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. Same. Same. Tomato. Tomato. They rise together. Um, That's hilarious. Yeah, Azel. Um, I'm thinking right now. Catalyst drives are going for like one, one ten. Um, and this is somewhere between that and a prime key. Prime keys are going for twenty two. So I would assume that the value of a galaxy key is going to be somewhere between those two, and move up with the market as. And it depends on what they announce, right? If you burn your galaxy key and then get you know a bunch of people burn and they don't get something as great as they thought then maybe the galaxy key will go. it depends on the dynamics i don't know but it'll be somewhere in, in between there i think oh wow but there's 1.5 thousand prime keys that's a lot of prime keys mm, yeah 1500 prime keys and 1500. there and there's going to be like maybe two to, there's going to be around 300 of these so it's going to be closer it's going to be a look it's not going to be yeah it's going to be significantly higher than a prime key right it's going to be between that catalyst drive yeah so what what one sold for 100 ETH recently for three hundred thousand yeah. dollars and and it's going to be between the catalyst drive 150 and it's going to be sandwiched between that prime and catalyst so that perfect medium yeah oh i guess you're right because that was a hundred of the catalyst right yeah, 150, 150 of those, of those. Yeah. okay check that recent history on there just so you can see it for yourself that chart um, really good info there. Um, I don't think I appreciate that's... you guys. I appreciate you guys. Well, we appreciate thank you. you we got you. Thank dude. you for warming me up to this. I really, I, this, this, this is, this has been really awesome. And I hope that someone else in the stream watching has been just as, and feels just as informed as I just got, you know yeah. what I mean? 
Yeah, I hope so too. That was the the point of the whole thing. So, uh, Ryan Mouse has a good question. So he says, "Do you guys think that they would necessarily reward people who can just um, just drop infinite ammo into parallel, like a lot of the PK holders are early adopters, whereas Galaxy key holders um, pretty much all whales?" I don't agree with that because I think that a lot of people. Um, like I was talking to earlier, like a lot of them are whales. Yeah, they can buy in at these prices, but a lot of them are people like Young who believed in the project and were picking picking stuff up, trying to collect everything at like point zero one. While I was poor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's not all whales, and they and they will. Here's here's the thing from a business perspective too. The whales are giving them. I mean, what's this? What's the ninety days sales volume? It's like thirty k or something. Thirty k ETH. Yeah, we're at like 30,000 ETH already, yeah. total value all 30, time. 30,000 ETH in 90 days um, of sales volume. And they get, you know, so the whales are paying the team to develop the game that they love and the game that they want to make. And true. they're making their vision come true. So why would you not reward those people? I mean, they are people as well. Just because they have more money doesn't mean that they don't deserve um, some some rewards for backing a, well, a project. That. So that's how I see it, at least. But it, I think that a lot of people who have Galaxy keys are also diehards, like Young. So they and, and, and anyone who's willing to either put up the money or the um, raw belief in the project deserves some reward in my book. And they rewarded a lot of the early believers, or like with the next faucet guys, they're gonna give free cards. That's like a free airdrop. And like that's something that can have exponential growth too. So their their faucet, I think, is for like believe early like early believers too that aren't necessarily whales. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, they got a lot of things in the pipeline. I feel for sure. Um, Pixel Planet agreed with your dad regarding investment advice, but who has the money to hold all of these projects for six months or more? I mean, that's the problem. There's like, it's a lot of money, um, depending on which project you're getting into. Uh, that's why you need, it needs to be nearly disposable. Um, it needs to be either seen as a reinvestment or as something that you're just willing to lose. Um, I mean, yeah. What do you think? And you can what hold think, things Mark? longer than a day too and be rewarded. You don't have I'm, to flip everything. True. It doesn't seem like you have to hold for six months for this project to, for something like this to be big for you to make your profits you know what i mean yeah right or at least your wrong? initial investment like yeah. i'm doing i'm just doing the math now on this on this 22 ETH situation with the pd 15 right mm -hmm. okay 22 ETH. let's say you spend 20 so the, the initial investment is 22 ethereum let's say conservative galaxy key goes for 50 ETH. that's pretty conservative right mm -hmm. yeah would you call that conservative guys i'll say 40 just, just 40 that yeah, okay, yeah. 40 ETH conservative. Okay. And then your initial investment, 22 ETH, goes to 11 ETH because it halves. Yeah. So then you have 51 ETH worth of NFTs and you spent 22 ETH. So your take yeah. in a week or so is, you know, 30 ETH. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> am, I miss am I missing something? You are not missing anything. No, that's okay. called that's called the fountain of youth. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. This is the kind of math that's been going on in the parallel discord. And that's why people like uh, Argus and Fitch and, you know, some of the people, some of the big boys and Sisyphus who all, all the bu really bullish um, big boys. That's why they're saying like, it just like, it just makes sense. I'm buying everything. I'm buying everything because <laughs> because the math, the math is there. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. It feels Argus. like selling the initial ones are going to be kind of janky, but it's okay. Yeah, it could be. There was a guy he mentioned Argus that came in his stream, and then I watched his chat, and he said that Parallel is Uniswap at four dollars. Yeah, and that always hooked me, like because I remember that airdrop of uh, Uniswap Uni tokens. So we just been seeing that curve ramp go up like crazy. Raina, Raina Mouse is saying in Twitch chat that the market assumes that the Galaxy Key is worth 10 to 12 ETH right now for what it's worth. That's what he says. Market assumes. Oh, what's that based on? It's based on just 
early people that haven't been here a long time that are just speculating and they're not the sensei so i wouldn't really uh i mean where, where's where is he getting that pd1 price from the pd1 price just in the galaxy hmm. uh, market understand. assumes gk is worth 10k 12 ETH. i don't i wouldn't agree i don't agree either. but um but what's the what's the what's the method where do you arrive at that how did you arrive at pd1 price for announcement it was 10 ETH and then went to 22. oh yeah but that's it's a just... snapshot you know, in the early days, if you would have gotten early, you would have completed a PD1 set for 10 ETH. Mm. Whales okay. and people are now pricing these people out um, just because yeah. they're so hyped of what the, 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 the Galaxy Key will do. Yeah, it's, so, it's not a snapback, though, um, Ryan Mouse. You know, it's it, the whales are here, so it's not going to go back to before they were here. The, their money is in the ecosystem now, and they're invested. So... Uh, it's possible we'll see a retrace but i don't i don't think we're going to go back to that and that also doesn't mean that what they're giving away that's a really rare um or assumed to be a really rare thing isn't going to be a complete whole nother thing that's worth quite a lot you know i'm thinking i was thinking the other, i'm kind of like daydreaming about it right and i'm like okay what if they release a paragon um one of the leaders in se and you can only get it if you have a galaxy key yeah. And it's like that's worth that's worth way, way more than twelve ETH. And it has nothing to do with the price of the set that got you there. You know, it's based on the asset they give you. And you you can't get that set anymore. You can't get the galaxy key after and and you know, you can't take that hindsight with you when you make that price. Yeah. Right? So just because it costs somebody twelve ETH to get to a galaxy key doesn't mean the galaxy key is worth twelve ETH. That doesn't make i'm sorry i'm not trying to come at you or anything that doesn't make any sense it, it basically means that the value of a prime key is worth 0.22 or a value value of a catalyst drive is worth 0.22 eth because that's how much orphan paid to get it right that doesn't make that's not how markets well work. and plus am i wrong no you're not wrong you're not, you're and, not. and plus we're talking about um well we're, we're talking about um oh fuck, my mind my, my mind went blank i lost it sorry guys um, yeah yeah but i would say um because i have to roll oh I yeah have a stream. oh yeah young's got a stream drop your shit yeah, i got a stream what, what's your um, what's your social streaming with rat king from the sewer rats we're gonna be talking Ooh. cool things uh, yeah yeah cool. i like the sewer rats um i'm kind of over pfp buying so that was my uh dead fellas is my last pfp i'm ever gonna buy mm -hmm. so ever yeah bro i'm just in parallel i'm just so deep in um and, I, and i'm comfortable there respected i respect that um except but Mark, for Hibibi. I, I need that Let's, I'm, I'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that They're, it's very competitive i need to i need i need maybe some uh a, a, a code or something dm me dm code. me i've got i've i've you, i can show you what we've got coming up we've got some we've got some crazy things coming up yeah. trust me you, you would be shocked i can't wait to have one in my collection i'm excited um i love you bro continue doing what you're doing uh, thanks, orphan thanks for being here dude um i got mad respect for you bro mad props Back stay in the you. attic stay crazy and let's get this man into super rare god damn it okay come on yeah what the fuck let's super do it rare? let's do it thank you young round of applause i'm playing the round of applause for you young thanks for being here dude i'll catch you later peace out y'all yeah let's go yeah. <laughs> hey. oh yeah mark you staying on with me dude um i think i have a meeting at six as well let me check. I do. So I've got 10 more minutes with you. Sweet. I just, okay, go over here. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. You put some bugs in my ears, dude. I don't know what to do anymore, man. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. There's it's, so much cool shit to buy right now. It's a tough one. I we're kind of in a, we're kind of in a, we're, we're in a bit of a bull market right now with NFTs. Yeah. Things, th this market moves it's it's scary like everything is going up in value right now everything yeah um so that's concerning right doesn't that i mean that that scares that's scary right yeah a little bit but i think that we're in my mind for how this market's gonna play out we're right on track but nobody's doing what parallel is doing well let me explain real quick what i what i mean by that um sure. i think that we're right on track because when i started getting back into crypto um the fall of last year um mm -hmm. i was like we're gonna see a 
we're going to see a mid cycle peak, which we just saw we're just coming out of. And then if we follow trends to what historically have happened, we're in for the biggest price rise we've seen um, yet. We're, we're going to break all time highs and then we're going to go even higher and it's going to keep booming. We because things are booming here because we've been in, we've been in the space and we haven't left. Right. Normies yeah. normies saw the price drop and they like lost interest. Right. Um, normies Which are, was good for us. Normies really are, good for us. It's great for us. And normies are just starting to get back into it. And this is about the time of the year that it happens. And we see just like a insane run up the, the truly parabolic straight up action. And yeah. so what we're seeing in the NFT space, I think just mirrors that. I think that I think that we're right on track. I don't think it will last forever. Certainly. I think that pr I think that generative projects are on their way out. But I, th right. I think that games and um, other things that are starting to come out are going to go absolutely fucking insane. We're seeing that with our blocks. People want something new. Our blocks is delivering it, and our blocks is genuinely cool. Yeah, our blocks is cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So cool. I think games and generative art, I think, is the next wave. I think we're going to see that, but I don't. I think the market's just going to shift on what it's buying. I don't think it's going to stop soon. But I could be wrong. Yeah. Because what happened in March? Absolutely. The mar the ETH tanked, and then NFTs tanked right nft uh no it started to slow down when eth skyrocketed oh it did didn't it yep i remember that's how i remember it ETH yeah. went to four thousand, and yep. the market froze you're right you are right hmm so that means that we will see we'll feel the slowdown in in um nfts before we see the market top in over in greater crypto well, I mean, if if it mirrors that. So who knows? I don't know. Things are certainly frothy. I mean, you look at parallel cards and you're like, yeah. why why is this set of cards from something that's not out yet? Why is it going for three hundred thousand dollars or whatever? Yeah. That's absolutely. crazy. You know, that's that's clearly frothy. Yeah, very frothy. But sometimes when I see things so frothy, it scares me because I think, okay, if I buy right now, am I going to be the one holding the bag? Because yeah. it seem it feels a little bit like that. It's scary. I personally, um, I wouldn't have completed my set if I didn't already have those three. Yeah, of course. There's no way. You know, I, just, I just wouldn't do it. Um, Would you have had the ETH to do it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Yeah. But it would have oh. been, it would have been a chunk, you know, it's, it's not, I'm, I don't, I feel very uncomfortable being so uh, leveraged. I don't like being, right. I don't like being leveraged in any of my trades. I like to, I like to, for my mental health and for my sensibilities in trading correctly, if there's too yeah. much risk on the table, I get emotional and then I make shitty decisions. So if I, it's like my, my Owen one buy, you know what I mean? I got, yeah. I, I got really emotional about it and I sold one off and then it went up by like, 300% I was like cool yeah you know what I mean uh-huh um, yeah that's because I that's because my investment was high yes my risk was high because I paid 2.7 ETH for it you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah so. 100% but if you buy something like I mean if you buy the packs for 0.3 and then it goes up to 50 or whatever you're right. you're more right. likely to be like oh well I don't you know even if it goes down 50% I've made 25 ETH you know that's a right that's a win so but i just don't want to be like i mean if i go on a parallel i want to have cool shit you know what i mean i don't yeah. want to have okay shit yeah 100 percent. so i think that feels like parallel is going to continue going up but i don't know for how long because yep. there's just a it's just a lot but it also if you think about it there's there's such a limited quantity for something that if it takes off like that's crazy and the amount of eth in the ecosystem is insane it, it really is. it's I, I undervalue it every single time or i underestimate it every single time the the yeah. amount because people were buying eth at a dollar you know because <laughs> there were people who bought ten thousand dollars of eth at a dollar and they just have ten thousand eth you know yeah that's right that's a very real person that's in the space right now <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. That, that's and they uh they don't you know they're just 
doing their thing. They're just doing stuff that they want to do. Like it's, that's uh that's something that ha that that's the that's the X factor that people don't account for when they 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 put it to their their everyday life. They're like, oh, how much is that in the house? How much is that in a in a piece of property? How much is that in a boat? Yeah. And then right. you think you're like, oh yeah, but if I like, there's a ton of people running around right now that literally paid next to nothing and now have like multi multi millions of dollars right uh for no reason and they are yeah. just there and they and they got that because they like the space they got it because they were willing to invest in a weird fringe technology and what is parallel if not a weird fringe technology it's like an application to for a weird technology yeah uh, absolutely there's a lot of value in that people are willing to to pay for a piece of that from their free money so it's uh it's an interesting dynamic that's hard to calculate for i'll have to think about man i'm gonna have to talk to my wife about this today i might i might go in i might go in and get there and go for the galaxy key dude i want to be there with you honestly dude like mm -hmm. i want to i want to i want to um i want you and i know that my investment is going to be significantly higher than your investment in it but i don't know there's something fun about i feel like you're doing it right and i want to i want to join the gang you know what i mean yeah Awesome. Yeah, man it um it spooks me a little bit just the market being where it's at but i think that it'll go i think it'll be worth it i, I think it, the the numbers make sense to me it seems worth it for me i'm gonna if you, if i'm gonna you chill have on the that. money to spend but you should you should noodle it a little bit and talk with me and yeah, Mark on the back end i will I'll, I'll talk with you on the back end i'll talk with ryan on the back end i'm gonna i'm gonna hop on the discord there as well and just like chat with people who, who and yeah. you'll tell me who's smart on the discord anyways too so yeah, most people. Um, I think Dior is pretty smart. Um, Kalos is Kalos is a, a, a G. Um, okay. There's a lot of smart people. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, we'll keep well, you posted. Dip. Pixel Planet. Yeah, Mark. Enjoy your meeting. Thanks for coming on. Do you have anything to promote? Um, keep your eyes on Habibi next week. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> big Habibi booties coming next week. Uh, it's the biggest drop Habibis has ever had since the launch of Habibis. Um, yeah, everyone's gonna like it. It's everyone's gonna, be gonna have fun. <laughs> All right, yeah. guys, that's it for us today. I'm going to sign off as well. I'll see you. Wait, no, I'm gonna give you guys a little detail on what we're doing. Round of applause for Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, dude. I'm Peace. gonna jump off. Cool, cool, cool. Peace. Okay. Yeah. You guys, you guys. Well, that was sweet. Um, Ryan, you posted something on Twitter. I wanna, I wanna read that real quick. Can you re link me to that again? It was something about up only. I don't remember what it was though. Something about up only. They were talking about something on stream. I, I don't know. It was like a tweet. Um, guys, while Ryan's checking that out, thank you guys for being here. I hope you learned a little bit of something. Um, I don't know how much, how useful that was, but, um, I had a fun time talking parallel. I, I learned some stuff for sure. How can we help with super rare? I mean, unless you know someone on the team, really, you can't. <laughs> so it's all good. Um, okay. What do we got? Up only Twitter. Dees and Fitch will be hosting a special series of a few up only TV episodes focused on only NFTs. Uh, since Kobe hates all NFTs and Ledger has the worst taste ever. Hey, thanks for the sub, Steph. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna keep doing parallel updates, blank. Because here's the thing. Um I love card games and I am sad that I didn't know about parallel earlier because it's right up my alley. Um, I will for sure be playing it when it comes out and I'll be for sure talking about it because uh, I just love card games. If there was an NFT based Dota, I would feel the same way. If they come out with a MOBA that's NFT based and it's fun, I'll be in the exact same position. I'll, I'll be all about it. Um, so yeah, for sure. Not going to drop parallel. I wonder if I can get sponsored by him. We sure do a lot of promotion for them. So, um, okay, back to this. 
Um, we need a name for this mini series called Sounds Rare. Currently Sounds Rare. Reply with the best names and Kobe will send a winner. 60 very rare NFTs. Looks rare, obviously, not sounds rare, since it doesn't make sense. Okay. So they're starting up only starting to do NFT stuff. Interesting. Interesting. I think up only is probably the closest thing to what I'm doing. <laughs> Rename Orphan's Attic to Orphan's Galactic Sex Dungeon. That is, that's not a bad idea, Strange. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Definitely going to be covering more of it, though. But for this week, guys, speaking of PF, PFP, PVP projects, um, Dead Fellas back on the show Thursday, giving away more Dead Fellas. And they have an announcement tomorrow. I don't know what it is. I keep trying to get them to tell me what it is, and they won't. So it must be secret. It must be super secret. So they're doing an announcement tomorrow. I'm sure we'll talk about that on Thursday. Plus marbles, plus giving away dead fellas. It should just be a grand old time. So make sure to follow the channel. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Here's all my links, just in case you guys need them once again. But I'm pretty sure that everyone here is probably following me in some way or form. So that's Thursday. Um, if I think of anything you guys can do for Super Rare, then uh, I'll let you know. But thanks, Rai. Thank you guys all for being here. 50 people right now. That's that's a... I don't know if that's a record for the end of stream, but that's awesome. You guys are great. More parallel, more NFTs all on the way. I wonder if we can do a collab with Up Only. That would be so sick. I love Kobe's Twitter. He's really he's really funny. He's got a great um, a great Twitter, so... I would love to chill and hang out with him, but we'll see. We'll see. All of it's moving along at a little, uh, a slow little clip. It's it's going good. Working on some other things behind the scenes, but for now, we're, that's what we got. Um, I'll see you guys Thursday. Peace. Folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.